Many yearn for ideal sex, which they read about in books or watch its description on the tongues of sex therapists on television or perhaps watch it in movies, where everything is arranged and orderly, no place for randomness or chaos, and the couple can reach together to satisfying fits of orgasm. Unfortunately, reality is completely different, in real life, sex can be confusing, random, and even disappointing. People may feel fearful of having sex for these reasons or frustrated at not doing it regularly, are very anxious about whether or not they are doing it properly. It is well known that feeling frustrated is common when expectations are not met or desires are fulfilled, and it may cause a lot of quarrels or problems and some may push to avoid this practice altogether, and we hope that this professional advice written by a sexual health doctor will help to avoid this, rather, it is about achieving an ideal sex that is enjoyable for both partners. Here are 10 of the most popular advice this doctor has given his clients to help achieve those enjoyable sexual moments they hear and read about. 1. Use all of your senses. Use your five senses, yes, all five, to focus on your body's sensations. For abandoning the performance-only mindset and adopting a fun-based approach instead. This helps reduce the kind of sexual pressure most people complain about. This can also help you learn how to get rid of fears that arise from the belief that you should know everything about sexual intimacy. 2. Expand your definition of sex, outside foreplay. You should know that sex is more than sexual intercourse known as inserting the penis into the vagina only, you should learn diversity. Try to also focus on the external parts of what is known as foreplay, which includes deep kissing, sensual touching and erotic massages. Exploring the pleasure zones of your partner's body is the key to achieving orgasm. 3. Use a common love language during practice. When things get tough in the bedroom and bickering happens, it is very easy to blame your partner when your needs are not being met. Instead, take some time to understand the other person's point of view. And try to find common ground. And a common love language makes you closer to your partner, so you learn to express your love for your partner in the language he understands whether it is through gifts, physical affection, or even emotional words and there is no doubt that this will establish a basis for sexual intimacy between you. 4. Avoid harmful comparisons or similes. The comparison usually leads to some unnecessary insecurity and resentment. Instead, try to highlight the beauty and pleasure of your partner so that the relationship remains friendly and exciting. Make memories and leave new imprints. By trying to learn new methods, and trying to make your partner know that you are yearning for this meeting and waiting for him to practice new sexual adventures that will please you together. 5. Take care of yourself. Take care of your physical and sexual health. Always try to increase your awareness of what makes you feel healthy, energetic and desirable. All this will greatly help you to be better prepared for your partner's education and harmony. 6. Know your limits. When you are fully aware of your physical abilities, your own motivations for sexual activity and your psychological state, and how much time, energy and resources you can devote to yourself and your partner, you will begin to feel less stress and more control over the formation of your sexual life and this avoids you sexual trauma and unnecessary frustrations. 7. Be fun. Be playful and be prepared to say and practice some silly and trivial things that you don't normally do. Sex needs a kind of departure from the ordinary and away from the unpopular strictness and seriousness in such intimate meetings. 8. A timeline for love. Establishing a schedule for yourself and your partner, so that each of you care about each other emotionally so that your life is not lost in the midst of life's concerns, in order to keep the spark of love burning between you, and therefore you should reserve at least an hour per week to explore each other and enjoy what can be called adult play. 9. Put down the phone and rest. You must be well prepared to meet your partner and give your body some rest after a tiring day. Ignore the usual daily checks for communication programs before bed and try to focus mentally and be more active and desire to explore something new in the bedroom and practice a new experience with sexual pleasure. 10. Organize your priorities and your time. Try to create more opportunities for sexual intimacy. And stop busy yourself with things that are meaningless and consuming your time and focus. Set a schedule for rest, relaxation and sexual activity. And since you need blood flow to your genitals for sexual arousal, keep exercising regularly. It is vitally important to increase the fun. Not only that, but exercise elevates your overall mood and gives you an endorphin boost, two essential libido boosting ingredients. Sex doesn't have to be frustrating or intimidating. Take these tips we mentioned and try to practice them to start feeling more organized and in control of your sexuality, relationships, and yourself. When our estimates are realistic and we are honest with ourselves about our and our partner's needs, we can begin to have a more satisfying and enjoyable sex life.